Now I want to address something that's made headlines this week and something that I would like to apologise for. This is a story that has sparked a torrent of abuse and mockery from around the world and if I'm being honest with you, the bulk of this savaging I deserve and I totally own. I flew to London to interview Adele, an unspeakable privilege and what was to be one of the highlights of my career. I made the terrible mistake of assuming we weren't to be given a preview copy of this album because our interview was airing before it was released and Adele's album was the industry's most prized secret. The day after, after we landed in London, an email came through from Sony. It didn't mention Adele, but it did contain a link to her album. The genuine, dead set, hand on heart truth is that I missed it. By an absurdly long margin, the most important email I've ever missed in my life. The interview itself, Adele didn't walk out, it ran over time. At least half of the interview focused squarely on the new music that I thought it was reductive to describe it as simply being about divorce. Throughout the 29 minutes, Adele was profound, she was funny, she was raw and then she was honest. Honest enough to describe her depression as end of the world stuff. But all that doesn't matter because by missing the album link, however I might try to justify it, I've insulted Adele. To Adele, I say, I'd never have knowingly disrespected you by deliberately not listening to your work. I am so sorry. I also apologise to Adele's Australian fans and to you, our viewers, who through my error have been denied this interview and the insight into her character.